Hello there, and welcome to Cancer Update 60. So I'm, I'm here with uh, Rupert, Rupert uh, Bear today. So as you remember, Rupert is a very, very quiet bear. So um, Rupert suits my ability to um, deliver ventriloquism. So um, it's a Rupert day. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update uh, on how things are going. I've been finding, um, what am I on, round five, uh, pretty challenging, actually. It's I've had a fair bit of nausea, a, a, a heap of less lethargy, uh, and a couple of and one new sensation, which is a, a metallic taste in my mouth. Um, kind of in Australia we call it aluminium. I know in the US it's called aluminium. Um, kind, kind of that you know tin can taste in my mouth. Um, so. I have a question which which I'd, I'd love um, you to respond to me in the comments, which is, have any of you that have either been on chemo or have you or been on fentanyl? Because the funny thing was, I got the taste um, in my mouth after just putting on my first ever fentanyl um, patch. So I don't know whether it's in any way related to either round five being just the the final hurdle where my body went, you know. Here's a here's a taste, or whether it was actually the fentanyl, and I'm actually tasting some kind of fentanyl reaction in my body. Um, so, first question um, for you, if you could if you could um, write in the comments, is uh, have you ever experienced a, a metallic taste from either chemotherapy or um, or fentanyl, or I guess any other opioid? I guess that would that would be interesting as well. Uh, that's my first question. The second question, I'd be curious to hear um, responses from you on is specific to fentanyl. So I'm on, can you see it there? So I don't know if you can read it on, on the screen, but it's tw I'm on 25 micrograms per hour. Um, is And that's the little patch there. It's quite a small patch. The bigger patch is just because I was in the shower and I had to put a shower cover on it. But the actual patch itself is, is only that big. It's much smaller than the buprenorphine um, patch. My question is to do with um, tolerance, building up tolerance. So I know that as you take opioids, your body gets tolerance to that drug. So you need to take more of it to get the same effect. What I'm curious to know is to hear from you, uh, from, the, from those of you that have been on either fentanyl or other, other um, patch-based opioids, to let me know what, what I should expect in terms of needing to up my dose to overcome that tolerance. So for example, given if we if we start by saying that 25 micrograms per hour does appear to be addressing my baseline pain at the moment, how long can I expect that to be the case? Is that going to be the case for 6 months or is it or, or a year or only 6 weeks? And when it goes up, will it need to go up to, you know, 30 or 35 or 40? What's um what are other people's experience um with uh, that build up of tolerance. I'd, I'd be I'd be quite curious um, to hear to hear some comments on that um, as as feedback. So um, yeah, so those are my two questions. So my questions are around metallic taste and around um, tolerance build up for um, opioids such, such as fentanyl. So that's the uh, the serious part of um, of cancer update. I think it's number sixty. So um, just for the fun part, I thought I'd go go with this look. So. Is that good? Um, I think that looks good. Uh, so, yeah. So if you want to um, hit this button here, which we're all agreeing means care. So if you want to hit that button and um, and send us some care, we'd, we'd love to have it from you. And um, we, we're trying to keep our spirits up up, up here. And um, I think we're doing okay so far. Um, but it has been a bit of a rough journey. Um, there have been some days that have been um, pretty tough um, with, the, with the nausea and lethargy in particular. But we're hanging in there. So... Um, Yep, let's share the care and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks a lot from Paul in Perth. See you later.